what are the advantages of doing postdoc after PhD and what are some disadvantages is what today we are going to learn. Now, now doing postdoc after PhD is something that you need to think a lot and it may also uh, put you some more pressure as that you were into your PhD. The first advantage is that you stand in a better competition wherever you go for any kind of job in your field or in your department of professors. Doing a postdoc may say you can beat competition uh, from among your colleagues whenever it comes to the qualification or elimination of professors from university or if you want to go to a full, full tenure track professor, postdoc will always help you. So that's the biggest advantage if you do postdoc after PhD. And the second advantage is you need to get, you gain a lot of experience in research in your area, deeper and deep, deeper, thicker and thickest. So this is a main advantage that your research uh, capacity develops a lot and this is the second advantage. And the third advantage is you know how to bring projects uh, to get into uh, research from either from government projects or from private projects. Whatever the research projects, you will have a great idea how to get sponsorships projects to the university if you uh, do postdoc for some time. This is the third advantage. And the fourth advantage of doing postdoc is that you are able to uh, go, for, go as a resource person tomorrow in your own field of expertise in national and international conferences, workshops, live webinars, Whatever the meetings happen in your field of research, whether in your country or abroad, so you are very well invited if you are a postdoc researcher well in your field of research. This is another advantage of doing postdoc. And the fifth advantage of doing postdoc is your postdoc qualifications uh, could range from two years to seven, eight, ten years. So these all years of spending in research means you are able to, uh, you are able to invent some new thing. So you are able to uh, get that to the point that uh, you are able to discover or invent some new special thing and that can be only uh, uh, picked up by you. So this is another advantage and it can be recognized from you. So that, that, that's what uh, you're going to uh, do here. So these five advantages of postdoc uh, are very good if your age is below 30 or below 35. So I think there is an age limit to do postdoc. So that's, well, uh, we will discuss about the disadvantages. The first disadvantage of doing postdoc is if, you are a, if your age is a little bit above 30, so which means it's a little bit problem because you need to spend a lot of time uh, with uh, probably in some countries low salaries. If you go abroad in good countries, you will get handsome salaries, but Unfortunately, at least in India or some countries like this, for both postdoc salaries are very, very uh, low. So this is one biggest disadvantage after doing PhD. If you are going for a regular job, you will get good salary than postdoc. This is one big disadvantage. And second disadvantage is when you do your postdoc, it means you are um, not able to establish teaching career, you will lose all the teaching experience there because you are spending in a project researching, you don't have teaching much. So this is the one big hurdle, you will lose all the teaching experience being uh, in postdoc project. This is a second disadvantage. And third disadvantage is if you are doing postdoc means you are not able to uh, 
do what you like in your research because there is one superior always leading that project. So you have to obey your superior. And even if you have things in mind to do, uh, unless you get the permission or uh, from your superiors, it will not happen so easily. This is the third disadvantage. And the fourth disadvantage is it is as the same struggle as you were in PhD. There is a lot of bullying and dis dis uh, di discouraging you from the part of superiors. They may blame you. They may, they may treat you uh, something different. Uh, there may be partiality issues. So doing a postdoc project under a bad supervisor is very difficult to cope up with. This is another disadvantage. And the other disadvantage of doing postdoc is even if you do postdoc two years, that may not be valid in some countries. Unless you do for six years, you may not be eligible to go for a f uh, for tenure track professor, full-time professor in many of the European universities. So doing postdoc many years means it is very difficult thing again. So doing two years, three years will not fetch you any result unless as a, uh, as a thing to say in your resume or okay, it's okay like. So but postdoc is always good to if you go for six years, that's well and good. This is one disadvantage of doing uh, postdoc. So having said all these, some five advantages, five disadvantages about postdoc, now it is time for you to think which one is what for you is best. Now if you are, if you are interested only in teaching field and you don't want research as a point of uh, uh, thing, and you can very well opt to teaching after PhD, or if you want to go into research deeper and tomorrow get into a full-time professor or go to industries, and work with industries, then go to postdoc and do one project there for many years, two or four or six years. So it depends upon your age also, it depends upon your uh, personal family issues, or it depends upon your everything. So this is a complete uh, personal choice because, and most of the, most mostly, it's not easy to get into postdoc because, uh, because opportunities are very less and you need to, especially in your field of research, in your PhD, whatever you have written thesis in your PhD, only in that field you can go postdoc. You can't go into other field. And getting that field particularly uh, opportunity, get, getting an opportunity in that particular field is very difficult. So it's very difficult to find opportunities for postdoc, but if once, once if you find that project, then it is very difficult even to grab it. Even if you grab it, it's very difficult to get sponsors. And even if you get sponsorship, it is very difficult to enter into that country. You may not like that university or a country, uh, but unfortunately that's the only way to enter into that postdoc project. So many things are there which we need to sacrifice if you want to go to postdoc, whether you like or not, opportunities are very rare. And if you get that opportunity to do postdoc, you need to sacrifice all your personal thinking personal thought and grab the project and enter into postdoc. So if you are interested more in poor postdoc, kindly comment your questions. I am ready to answer to all your questions regarding postdoc. Thank you for watching this video a lot.